Hello everyone. Today's session is about how to turn your file server into a cloud storage gateway and then enable uh, synchronization, collaboration, and sharing over the internet. So we have Azure, in this case, Azure Data Center and Windows Azure Blob Storage as one of the uh, supported cloud storage target. So what we are going to demonstrate is to have file server send information to Azure Blob Storage and then later on share that out to different devices. So first of all, let's take a look at our Microsoft Azure account. We have a Blob Storage and we have a container, um, two containers here under the um, one of the account, hello, you know, triple eight. You can see we already have um, many and many files and folders in here. Um, so it may not be too user friendly to look directly in the Azure Blob Storage, but you can see here um, with the Gladinet Cloud Enterprise, you can have a nice files and folders view. And if you go to the Storage Manager, you can verify that the root folder is mapped to Windows Azure and the blob URL is you know hello and triple eight that's where we are um, we, you know the uh, the blob URL we are using for demonstration here under each blob URL you can have different containers so that's our blob storage um, we'll, we'll be using and then um, so cloud storage is one of the com component right so and then we need to set up the link between the cloud storage and then the local file server. So the tool we are using here is the team folder. So the team folder is a Gladinet Cloud Enterprise concept here and then it's capable of creating a SIF share which is also a network share, Microsoft SMB share and you can add multiple users to it. It could be local server user or it could be Active Directory user if the server is part of the Active Directory domain. So now we are looking at the file server here. You can see the video share. If you go to the computer manager management and you can see the uh, the video share, the, the display name uh, is the same display name there created as a network share. So that means it's a cloud storage gateway mode, right? So um, you have a folder in the cloud in Azure and then it's set up as a team folder and then the team folder gets published as a network share so many people can um, connect connect to the to the network share and then use the network share to collaborate right so it's uh, if we want to draw a diagram here you know the um, in the local area network the traditional way of doing network uh, collaboration is to use a network share and now in the cloud way if you want to do it over the internet we call your team folder that's in Gladinet Cloud Enterprise and then under the hood it's the uh, Windows Azure blob storage in this demonstration it could be um, cloud storage neutral um, but in this demonstration we're using Windows Azure blob storage so now that's team folder, right? So after we create a team folder, we know that team folder will be connected to uh, a network share. So we're going to use a command prompt to map a drive, right? So if you have a network share, you can map a network drive. Um, so now we're just mapping the network drive to the local uh, file server itself, right? But um, we don't have to. If you know it's a network share, we can map the drive from other uh, Windows PCs in the same network, right? So we're now just creating a folder called test April um, 13, which is today's date. And then we create a folder and then we, were, we are depositing some files to it. Just do a directory listing and then pipe the output to the to the file. And, and there you go. You see this folder was created from the file server, but it shows up uh, in the cloud as well. And in the cloud meaning for, for this specific account, the backing storage is Windows Azure Blob Storage. So it's in, in the Windows Azure Blob and it's showing up as you know, nicely as files and folders. So we are doing some more uh, modification. So we are adding one file and then change the directory listing to version 2. So now we have two directory listings, right? One has one single file, one has two files. So um, 
so you can see this the whole folder is under version control so what I have shown you here is we have a file server and a network share and the network share can be mapped as a drive and then people can create folder upload file and then the fo you know the files and folders going into the team folder and now what we are going to do is we're going to show once the files and folders are in the cloud now we can access the files and folders from other places such as a Windows client so as you can see here we are accessing the files and folders from a Windows client and then um, it's showing up so this is a Windows 8.1 uh, it's a client, client type of um, Windows so uh, you can see files and folders right so and now we, we, we can uh, browse to a local folder and upload some files and folders to the um, directory to the folder right so the folder was in file server published as a network share but now we can also access the same uh, team folder from a Windows um, PC which you know doesn't have to be in the same network in as the the file server it could be over the internet somewhere else right so so you can see from the diagram here the Windows PC and the file server um, can be connected over the internet right and then without you using any kind of VPN and just with Gladinet Cloud Enterprise and the Windows Azure blob storage they now can see the same set of files and, and, and folders over the internet because they are all connecting to the same account and we also um, so for this one that's the an Android device Android 5.0 device that you can see the same set of files and folders from a mobile device in and in this case it's a um, an Android device right you can use HTML viewer to view the directory listing um, that's a file we have deposited to the same folder and so you can see that from an Android device so with that said we can also check out uh, Windows Phone so we have a Windows 8 point, uh, Windows Phone 8.1 device so we can use the project my uh, my screen app to view the the Windows 8.1 phone um, and the phone image is showing up so that's, that's nice so so now we can we can we can use the um, the screen reflector tool to see the files and folders from from the the Windows Phone device and you can see we see the same set of files right so remember this dir.txt file originally coming from the file server right so file server coming from a file server coming from a network share and then now uh, outside of the network the and Windows Phone can can access that the same set of files and folders without using any kind of VPN right so it's very easy to uh, to to collaborate on the same set of files and folders and now um, as you can see here we are doing it over an iPhone right so different kind of mobile devices Windows Phone Android um, iOS right so you can all see the same set of files and folders and these files and folders are originally coming from a file server right so with the file server you have a team folder and then you turn the team folder into a network share and with the network share you can upload files and folders from one you know geolocation and then once it's uploaded from the you know one geolocation it comes into the Windows Azure blob storage which is the you know one kind of the cloud storage as the backing storage and now you can you can access the same set of files and folders from different places right so it's a quick review of what I've shown today um, this is the Windows file server you know the same same uh, video share that's the fold name of the folder which is published as a team folder which has a um, you know has that check mark create CIFS share CIFS also means the Microsoft uh, network share SMB protocol and once it's created it's linked to the the file server right and then the file server upload the document and then the document now can be viewed from um, a Windows device Windows phone device from Windows PC desktop and from now an Android device right so 
mobile device, desktop, and then also in, you know in this demonstration we didn't show show Mac, but you know Mac also has an has an app that you can uh, you can see the files and folders. So that's all. Um, you have files and folders, and you can do collaboration. You know in the um, over the cloud and then the file coming from the you know originally coming from a file server thank you